Welcome back to What Arty Noobs for General Disturbance. This is a Conqueror gun carriage. It's the Tier 10 British SPG and it's located on the north spawn of Malinovka and it's been commanded by KP Wraith. Now, he's got one mark of excellence on his barrel. Um, that's a 234mm howitzer or 9.2-inch howitzer depending on uh, if you're metric or imperial. Battle has started and he's off into the bushes. It's a big beast. They didn't actually build any, but uh, <laughs> it um, is theorised that it would have been built if they'd actually used the Conqueror uh, chassis for um, making an SPG. And we've got some targets in the south already. There's a Chrysler Grand Final. And T49. I think he's going to go for the Chrysler. Dialing in the aim. He's using overhead view. Rounds out straight away. Oh! And lands right next door to the Chrysler. 526 hit points of damage from that splash. Now he's got 36.4 second reload. He's carrying 24 rounds of ammunition. And he's actually started with the premium ammo straight away. It's got 18 rounds of premium. Now, premium does have a much bigger splash. So, he should do a lot more damage, even if the enemy is some distance away from the uh, shell impact. Okay, he's loaded. Star 1, round out. Direct hit! 100, 1,204 hit points of damage. Oh my god. Yes, I mean, he says lol in chat. I'm not surprised. That STA one really didn't stand a chance. Direct hit, and he was taken out the very next shot by the SU-14 to the school bus. Um, what an amazing start to the battle. Huge amount of damage. He's up nearly to two, 1,700 hit points of damage already. And the battle's only been going two minutes long. And he's only fired two shots. Fires around out. Staying off of the T49, no, I don't think he got anything there, it's just too far away. T49 appeared to have stopped. He's hunting around for another target, the T49 was taken down though. Right, I've got a, a T57 Heavy, that's an American Tier 10 autoloader, hiding behind that rock there. Now, the thing that the Conqueror gun carriage is famous for is its parabolic arc. The fact that it can actually fire over rocks. Now, he fired that round over, but it just splashed the... Or rather, the school bus fired it over and splashed the T-57. He's loaded, ready to go. He's just fired at the M46. Oh, my God! He got 424 hit points off the M46 pattern. And he got a further... 277 off the Progetto 46 who was right alongside him. So he's now at 2,500 hit points of damage after just 3 minutes of battle. He's racking up a huge total. Okay, he's almost finished reload. There's a whole cluster of tanks around this rock. Oh, one of them just got taken out. Strip 103B. There's another Strip 103B there using the riverbank. Very bad move when there's a CGC in the game. And that was 445 hit points of damage. That Strip is probably not so happy now. He's being attacked from multiple directions. He really is in a very bad position here. He's stunned. So he's not getting good accurate hits. Um, and he's being attacked from multiple directions. And he's picked up some more damage. The strip has actually been taken out by the Optic 26A4. Right, we're almost loaded. Almost ready to go for another hit. And this time I think it's going to be the Chrysler again. Is it the T57? He's going for the T57. Round out. Oh, hits the rock face. But it still stuns the T57. And does 272 hit points of damage. And that was from hitting the rock face. Not from hitting the tank. That shows the value of actually using the uh, premium ammo because it does have a much larger splash circle. Splash radius is much, much bigger. Ooh, 
another impact came in from the school bus. Now the enemy do have uh, two arties on their team. They have uh, Lorraine 15551, the tier 8 French arty, and they have the American T92 HMC. Oh, and that one landed on the engine deck. In fact, what did it? No, it landed on the turret. It, it did uh, 540 hit points of damage from landing on his uh, uh, on the back of his turret. That's probably done his ammo, I think. <laughs> I, would, I would expect that he's probably uh, trying to fix all manner of uh, critical hits. But it is a magazine-fed um, tank, so... Oh, it was a magazine-fed tank. It's now dead. Um, so, obviously, being magazine-fed, it only really affects it if... And he just stuns the projector. That was uh, a bit of a wild shot. It wasn't fully aimed. With a magazine-fed tank, you only really have to worry about the ammo rack if you uh, are on reload. Once you've got a clip in uh, loaded, it's, uh, it's a lot easier. Okay, we've got the RT have been found. There's the T92. And he's been killed. But we're looking for the other one. No, the other one's been found. And he's been killed. So there's only two enemy remaining. One of them's the Udes. And the other's the Batchat 25T. There's the Udes. He's about to be killed by that CDC. Or oh, is the CDC about to get a nasty ouch? He got some nasty shots in there, fires around it, damages the U, there's 380 hit points, but he stuns the AD AMX CDC, so he might get fined for that. Um, and that round then went in and took out the uh, uh, enemy AMX CDC in the end. Um, so the game is over, basically. Very, very quick game, um, or quickish game. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Oh my god, KP Wraith actually ended up with two marks of excellence on his barrel after this match. He got a first class tanker, um, he got a bruiser medal for getting uh, at least five critical hits, he got 15. A gauze medal for doing more damage than 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle. A confederate for taking out at least, or damaging at least six tanks subsequently taken out by others and in fact actually he didn't get any kills at all in this battle but he did a huge amount of damage and the reason he got a huge amount of damage is because he got the high caliber i mean some of those shots were just phenomenal 1204 hit points of damage alone against that sta1 uh poor guy didn't really stand a chance once he'd been hit by that round uh so let's have a look at team scores see exactly how he got on Highest on damage, 4,587 hit points of damage overall. Uh, he didn't get any kills at all, I'm afraid, so it puts him way down the table when it comes to kills. But when it comes to base XP, he's right at the top with 1,041. And remember, this wasn't an ace tank uh, replay, but it did get him the uh, second mark of excellence. So he's now up to 85% on the CGC. He fired only nine rounds during that battle. He got three direct hits, three penetrations, and nine splash. He did damage of 4,587 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. He did do damage to friendly tanks during the battle, 128 hit points. Uh, and I think that was to the CDC at the end, who he fired at when he fired at the Yudas. Um, he also uh, damaged seven of the enemy, but didn't kill any. But he did do 3,989 hit points of stun assistance off 11 stuns. On a premium account, he earned 89,282 uh, credits. And he was fined 2,546 credits for the damage to the CDC. Um, and after ammunition resupply, remember that was premium ammo he was firing and consumables. He was actually left with a deficit of 5,264 credits. So he lost credits on the battle, on a tier 10 battle, uh, but mainly down to the fact that he was firing premium ammo. If he'd been firing standard ammo, he probably would have made a profit. Um, he received 1,562 XP, uh, but he also got a personal missions payout there for 3,124 XP, giving him a total of 4,686 altogether. So, pretty good battle, and uh, now he's got two marks on his uh, CGC, I think he'll be going for the third mark, 
and that's going to make KP Wraith a very, very dangerous customer to meet in a battle. So, you know, pray that he's on your side in future. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.